Oh, the weather outside is frightful But the fire is so delightful Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Happy Friday the 13th. We have to get a little spook in during the holiday season. <laughs> so happy Vlogmas Day 13th and December 13th. I am up, I am showered, ready to start the day. It is currently 1 p.m. I've been up since like 9.30. I had to do a couple things. I closed out yesterday's vlog for my birthday. Had to put away some laundry. I now need to eat and then get the rest of the day started. So don't think I didn't, I didn't just wake up. I've been up since like 9.30, so I'm just now starting the vlog. Sorry. So I think I'm gonna make some pasta for lunch, but also we have a lot of dishes. So I feel like I, I'm gonna do those before I cook or maybe I'll start boiling the water while I do the dishes because that always takes forever So why don't we do that and then make some lunch? that I hate about being an adult. I mean, like, I hate everything about being an adult, but there's, like, a good two to three things that just irk me. One being, you're never done doing dishes or laundry. Like, you can never just finish those things because as soon as I do a load of laundry, I still got the clothes that I'm wearing that aren't clean because now they're dirty because I'm wearing them. And same thing with, like, dishes. I just did all the dishes, and then there's the dishes that I just dirtied up from making lunch. I feel like you're never done doing those things. And it makes me so angry. Like, I can never just feel accomplished from doing my laundry or doing the dishes because there's always more. And I hate paying for gas and food. That stuff makes me angry. Cause I gotta go to places, I gotta go to work, and I gotta eat. I digress. But while we're eating, my plan for the day is I have to take my last final, which I'm not looking forward to doing, but to incentivize me, because I don't know if you guys watched my previous vlog where I talked about like writing my paper and I always try to reward myself to like keep me going. So I'm rewarding myself that after I finish my final, I'm gonna go get my nails done because they need filled so bad. You guys see that? That's disgusting and I need to go get them filled. So I'm rewarding myself after I finish my final to get my nails done and then I have a couple of their errands that I need to run. So today's definitely kind of like playing catch up in a way. I have to do my final, get my nails done. I I know we just went grocery shopping, but I didn't get like toiletry stuff that I need. Like I need paper towels, toilet paper, dry shampoo, body wash, moisturizer, like that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna have to run back out to the store to get those things. And then I also need to run up to Lexi, my little her house tonight because I let her wear my Blue Jackets jersey for our jersey party on the 6th, our birthday party. And so she still has it and I need it before she goes home. Tomorrow, like back to her home hometown, she flies out because Griffin and I are going to a Blue Jackets game over break and I'm gonna need my jersey. So we have to run and get that from her. But for now, I'm gonna eat my noodles, watch some YouTube, and then I'll check back in when I'm about to take this final. Hello, what are you doing? If you aren't following Kitty on Instagram yet, you totally should. I'll link it down below. Oh my goodness. What? You're adorable. I also completely forgot that I have packages to unbox for you guys, so we're gonna do that today too. Of course, after I do my final, because that is most important. I also forgot that I need to edit day 12 vlog and get that up today. So we have a long list of things to do, but obviously first on the list is to do my final. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember this class, but this was the class that had the midterm that I vlogged that one day where I was like, oh, it gives you about two hours to take it, but it's not gonna take me that long. And it took me that long. That is this class. And so now I have to take the final, which I'm assuming is going to take just as long. And I'm not looking forward to it. I think that's why I keep procrastinating on it because I know it's gonna be like the midterm probably and it's just gonna be so long and I'm going to hate my life while I'm doing it. But then to make this even better is that this professor has not put in a single grade this entire semester. So right now my grade is sitting at 100% A because he has all of the assignments in and all what they're worth but there's no grades next to them like it's like blank out of 100, blank out of 25 or whatever. Not even the midterm that we took and so I don't know what I need on this final in order to pass the class and that's stressing me out. I think that's so crazy that a professor can do that and just wait the whole semester to put in grades and even yesterday was the last day of finals like Thursday the 12th was the last day of finals. Everybody is done except for me in this class because he was supposed to post our final. It's an online class, so the final is online. He was supposed to post it Tuesday, and we would have had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to complete it. He didn't put it up on Tuesday, and all of us were in the forum like, hey, bro, are you gonna post the, the final? And then he finally was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll post it tomorrow, and you'll have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to do it. But this professor, it just sucks. Like, I'm so shocked. We also have discussion posts that are due every week that we have to write something on and then reply to someone else's discussion post as a grade. But since he hasn't put in any grade, 
grades, how am I supposed to know if the first discussion post was up to his liking? He hasn't put in any grades ever. And so at the end, if I keep getting low grades on all the discussion posts, I'm going to pop off because how was I supposed to know to change the way that I was doing my discussion posts if he doesn't put in grades for them? Because if I would have done the first one, he graded it and been like, hey, I'm gonna need more details or hey, you need more sources, you need to cite this, you need to do this, this, and this, I would have fixed it for week two and week three, week four, like etc. But he hasn't done any of that. So I've done each discussion post the exact same. And then if they're all wrong, I'm, I will flip out. I will 100% email that man and be like, excuse me, no, you should have been on top of your game and I should not be penalized for not knowing how I was doing on my discussion post because you refused to do the grades. I just can't. I can't. So this class is stressing me out. I cannot wait to just take this final and then not have to worry about it again. Unless, of course, I fail the class because I don't know I'm failing the class because he's never put in the grades for it and I have to take it again next semester. Can't wait. As you can see, I don't want to do this. But we have to. So I'm putting on my warm stuff because I always get cold when I sit at my desk for a long time. I don't know. And then... We're gonna do this. With 45 minutes to spare, I am done with my exam. There's literally only eight questions. Do you see that? Eight questions on this exam. But I still used like two hours to do this because they gave us two and a half hours to finish the exam and I had like 45 minutes. So like almost two hours it took me to take an eight question exam. And what really makes me mad about this exam is that each question is worth like 60, let, let me just go through this. So question one, 25 points. Question two, 20. Three, 20. 25, 4, 30, 5, 60, 6, 70, 7, 60, 8, 60. So like 60 points for one question, that's ridiculous. Like how do you actually grade that to give me credit? Or like how do I gain full credit? How do I get 60... I don't know, I'm over it. I'm over this class, I'm over this exam, it's done, I'm done. Hopefully I pass the class because who knows, because my professor hasn't inputted grades so I couldn't figure out what grade I needed in this exam to pass this class. I'll update you guys whenever they put grades in. Guys, after my exam, I decided to go check on my other classes to see if they posted any grades, but I've only taken three classes this semester. My other two classes posted our final grades in the class and in my Psychology 4555 Adolescent Sexuality class that I had with Allison this semester, my final grade in the class is an A minus. Thank goodness we still got that A. I mean, I know it's a minus, but it's an A. <laughs> and then in my Women's Gender Sexuality Studies 4402 Black Women in Power Representation course, I also got an A minus in that class. <sighs> We love that. I'm so happy to see that. Now all I'm waiting on is the class that I just took the final in. Of course, that grade's probably not going to be posted never, but hopefully tomorrow or something. I don't know when they're going to do that, but I'm so happy that those have been posted and then I have A's because that just, that made my day a lot better after I was stressing about this exam. And do y'all remember like the eight page, nine page paper that I was writing in my previous vlog? The one that I wrote like the day before and I wrote it all in one day, all that good stuff. Y'all were like freaking out in the comments like, how did you write that paper all in one day? I'm, I don't know how. I just am a very good paper writer. I don't know how to say that, but that paper was 25 points and I got a 24.5 on that paper, an A on the paper obviously, which I'm very happy about. Also kind of a mini secret, I had one more like long extended response question to answer on my final and I was like, okay, I'm gonna be done soon and that was around like four and so I called and made my nail appointment for 5.30 because I was like, I'll definitely be done by then, it'll give me time to get ready and stuff like that. So it's five right now, which is perfect. I'm gonna get dressed into normal clothes because I'm wearing Griffin's hoodie and Griffin's sweats, so we we need to change and then we can go get my nails done and then continue down our long list of things to do for the day before and after I still look bummy <laughs> I changed from like one comfy outfit to another comfy outfit but it's whatever at least this one's like kind of more socially acceptable I have this cropped gray sweatshirt on that I bought from Walmart and then just cut it myself it's like a men's small and then I just have some black joggers on and then I'm just gonna be wearing some tennis shoes cuz I'm just going to get my nails done and then having to go to like Walmart and stuff like that so I'm really not trying to like waste a good outfit or anything <laughs> it's just to run errands but I feel a little bit more presentable in this <laughs> we have the finishing touches Oh my god, something hilarious happened yesterday. Right before Griffin and I was leaving for dinner, I was already been like spraying my perfume, so I was like T -t 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 -t. and then Griffin came up to hug me and tell me that like I looked beautiful because of like my mental breakdown. And so he walks up and he goes, You're and then breathes in all of my perfume and he just like dies. He's like, You are <laughs> and like walks away and just dies. And I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I didn't know he was gonna come over right as I did that, and I didn't know he was gonna breathe it all in. So sorry, but it was absolutely hilarious. Like I wish I would have found that on camera. Update, 
I'm done with my nails already. I'm in my car and it's dark, so that's why we have this creepy lighting. But I had to run over to Allison's because Allison's going on a family cruise and I'm jealous. But while she's gone, I'm gonna be feeding her hamster and fish. And so I needed to figure out like how to feed them, all the good stuff. So she's like teaching me all the stuff. I'll throw some clips of her hamster in here because he's adorable. Look at him, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Allison, do you wanna tell the people his name? Joel Brony Seltzer. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> Hi, babe, you wanna come up? Jabroni. Look at him, he's so cute, oh my goodness. But now we're running to Walmart because I have to do my grocery shopping of things that I need that I didn't get the last time we went grocery shopping like two days ago. Also, I forgot and I need to show you this, but Allison gave me, she forgot to bring it to the party, but she gave me this as like a birthday present and it's in case of emergency break glass and it's filled with a whole bunch of M&Ms. That is adorable and I absolutely love it. And I do want to break it right now, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till it's a real emergency, you know? But let's go ahead and go to Walmart so we can get my things. I need to stop by Lexi's house and then we're gonna come home I still haven't edited yesterday's vlog, so I need to do that. Make some dinner, show you my haul. Like, we have so many things to do, and it's already 8 o'clock. So this is gonna be a late vlog. Oh well. To Walmart we go. I think we have everything. We have paper towels, toilet paper, body washes, the pink bottle, dry shampoo, and new moisturizer. However, I don't know if that's everything because your girl forgot her list at home. So we're guessing on what was on my list. I guess we'll find out when we get home if we got it all. Walmart check, next off to Lexi's to get my jersey. <laughs> oh, Lexi's house is decorated with the lights. Uh, ooh, a garage door's opening, she coming, she coming. Hello? Hello. <laughs> we got the jersey goods. Lexi ran back inside because she's cold and wasn't wearing any shoes, but she's leaving tomorrow morning, like flying out at like 9 a.m., so that's an early flight, and she's going back home home, like back to her home state, because she's out of state. And she hasn't even finished packing yet, but I love you. Thank you for the jersey. Breaks in general are so sad in college because like these are your best friends, your family now, and then everybody just goes back home and then you're stuck at home. Usually like, I'm not going home, but like everybody's leaving me and I'm like, I have to go like a whole month without seeing my littles or Allison or just my roommates, my friends. Like what am I supposed to do with my life? This is so sad. But now we can go back home and we can finish everything else we need to do. We're finally home from all of the errands. I still have things to do. One, I haven't even showed you guys my nails yet. So there's that. Here's the nails that I got and like by my lamps. So that way I have semi good lighting for you guys. It's a sparkly red, if you can't tell. And I got them in an almond shape, which I've never done before. I've only ever had like coffin nails. Now I have these almond shapes, which I I actually really love. I love the shape and I like the color. Griffin picked out the color. I think I asked him like last week or something like what color do you like or what color should I get in my nails next? He said red. So I got red and I think it's fitting because you know like Christmas it's like it's festive so I'm in love. If you go to Ohio State and you need a nail salon I have been going to Paseo Nails and Spa for literally all five years of my college career here. I love them. They are so sweet. It's like a mom and pop shop. It's on Lane Avenue right before you get to Hudson in like a small little plaza area. I haven't been there for a very long time like probably a year if not two because I gave up getting my nails done to save money when I went back the first time to get my first like set the wife recognized me and I came in and she was like oh my gosh long time no see and I was like I know and it just made me feel so special that she remembered me and then today when I was getting my nails done her husband came in and he said hi to me and I was like hi and he goes it's been a while and I'm like, I know, and like, I don't know. It just warms my heart that they remember me because I used to be in there every two weeks on the dot for like two, three years and then I had to stop and now I'm back and they just remember me. I don't know, that's just, it's something for me. I like them, I love Paseo. If you need a nail salon, I highly recommend. They are super affordable but also really good. And I know you guys are gonna hate me for this but like obviously day 12 is not up yet. It's probably not gonna be up today. I feel like I'm just gonna wake up tomorrow and edit both day 12 and this vlog, day 13, and put them both up. I still want to show you the things that I bought in like a mini haul and then I think that's it for this vlog But now I want to show you guys what I got I ordered a whole bunch of clothes from Shein because y'all saw my previous haul and I tried out some different clothes And I said I was really interested in trying their winter clothes because that's usually what I see people buy so that's what's in here. I bought a whole bunch of sweaters and then maybe in tomorrow's vlog I'll actually put some stuff on and try it on for you guys. I really don't want to because it's 10 20 at night. If you ever want to do some shopping on Shein, do not forget that I do have a code for 15% off and it is MUHR15, M-U-H-R 15 for 15% off your order. So definitely use that. I used my own code when I ordered so like, sh <laughs> I don't know if I'm like supposed to do that but like I'm gonna save that money, right? She fool. I still hate how all of these places always put stuff in individual baggies but I get it. That's just how it works. I just don't like it. 
The first thing I got was this turtleneck. It's like a fluffy, if you guys can see it. Sometimes, you know, these, they could be like really itchy and not actually like soft, but this is actually really soft. This is item number one, this sweater. I also got this sweater, but I thought this was so cute to wear with like a pair of black leggings and my normal Adidas shoes. I don't know, I think I'm feeling this color this season. I'd guess so. Oh yeah, okay, so this sweater was so cute on the model, but it looks kind of big. I think I ordered a medium because I feel like that was all that was left. It's like a mustard shirt, and if you can see, it has this part that you could like tighten up so it's like ruched or like I don't I don't know what the verbiage is but it looked so cute with like high-waisted jeans and some booties I thought that was like a good date night sweater in my opinion oh this sweater is so cute it looks like a little cropped which I really didn't know maybe I, I don't know I kind of forget I ordered this a little while ago but the colors are so adorable it's like a pink green and white and cream and it's the same material as this but even softer like this is thick and so soft oh my goodness by the way, I will link everything that I got down below. This video is not sponsored by any means, but I still will link everything if you guys are interested or you like something. I always have my code that you can use if you do go shopping, but I did pick out all of this stuff myself and like got it myself because I wanted to try it again. And then I used my own code, like I said. <laughs> I forgot I got this. So I got this sparkly skirt and it has this little slit on it right here. I'm pretty sure our bid day for our sorority stuff is like disco themed. So I got this skirt to wear so it could be like sparkly disco. I don't know. I was trying to look for pants and I really wanted flare sparkly pants but I'm too short for those kind of pants to actually fit me I'd have to get them tailored and I'm not gonna do that so I just bought a skirt which I think is just as good just a basic pink sweater nothing special about it I just think it's super cute first impression wise this batch of clothes did so much better than the first batch of clothes that I did a haul on and I'm like pleasantly surprised I also got this sweater I thought this was so cute it has like a high neck it's not a turtleneck but it's a high neck I think it's like slightly cropped maybe I guess we'll see when we try it on but the sleeves are kind of baggy and I just thought this was so cute another pink sweater This one's pink and white and striped and looks like it has like three-quarter sleeves. Maybe it's like full-length sleeves They're just kind of like bigger and my arms are short It's really soft and thick and honestly this was giving me like Aspen Ovard vibes if you guys watch her I a hundred percent think that if I could afford my fashion style my fashion style would be Aspen Ovard like in her entire style Everything her whole aesthetic is my aesthetic like the blush pinks the creams the brown tones like everything is just perfect her outfits are always on point like I wish I could be Aspen Ovar basically that's what I'm getting at the last clothing item I got is this but I did get some other goodies like accessory stuff but the last clothing item I got which I forgot I bought is a jean jacket I got this one it looks maybe too big especially in the arms like these arms are gigantic I guess we'll see when I try it on tomorrow what size did I get I feel like I may have gotten a medium thinking that I could wear this over yeah I did get a medium yeah, maybe I could get it in a small if it doesn't fit but I was thinking maybe if I wear it over sweaters and stuff because yeah these arms are ginormous they're like balloon arms maybe they're supposed to be like that I don't know that is it for clothes and then I got a whole bunch of goodies and accessories I got two packs of scrunchies these ones are like satiny and they're like the pinky cream white color scheme that I like and then I got these I guess we'll just take them all out Oh yeah! So these ones have like the cute little bows on them. I just thought this would be so cute if I do like my buns. I don't know if I'm just like overestimating how much I actually wear my hair up or if I would wear these, but they looked so cute and they were only like $3 or something. I also ordered a belt because I don't have any belts. Oh, I ordered two belts. Surprise. I got a black belt and a brown belt. I felt like I would just need a belt at some point in my life. Maybe not. I feel like sometimes it just kind of pulls an outfit together and makes you look more put together. You know, you're wearing your jeans, you wear a belt, tuck your sweater in, and it just kind of pulls it together. I don't know. Again, I'm like channeling Aspen Ovard when I went shopping in this whole haul. She wears belts, I buy belts. And then I got two different necklaces because every time I wear a necklace, I don't know if you guys noticed, or anytime I go out wear a necklace period, I wear the same necklace because it's literally the only necklace that I have. So I bought two other ones. This one is an M necklace, if you guys can tell, obviously for Marissa. And it's like a double necklace, which I liked. So it's not just the M, it has like more to it. And then I thought I ordered stacked necklace, but turns out there are three different necklaces, which I guess doesn't upset me but it kind of messes up how I thought I was gonna wear them because I thought they would like stagger but at least I have three necklaces now I guess this one has a triangle on it so that's just like basic <laughs> this one is just a normal chain and then this one is a circle but that is everything from Shein like I said I, I want to try all of these on tomorrow like in tomorrow's vlog I don't have time to do it tonight I just don't feel like it love you Griffin's here 
But before we close today's vlog, of course, we're going to read today's notable quotable, which comes from Michelle, and hers is, stars shine in the darkness. And even though that quote is just short and sweet to the point, it does have a big meaning. In the darkness, stars are made. Diamonds are made under pressure. So when you are going through a rough patch, or if you are in the dark, or you feel like you're in the dark, just remember that at the end of that darkness, you will shine. And at the end of all this pressure that you're under, you'll be a diamond. Thank you, Michelle, for today's notable quotable. If you want to be the next video's notable quotable shout out, all you got to do is comment down below your favorite quote, song, lyric, whatever inspires you, motivates you, and keeps you going. That way we end every video on a positive note. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.